A very warm welcome to the Allianz Arena in Munich. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. stand shoulder to shoulder in singing the national anthems. the lineups for this game down to business here Moves out on the left now still going where to next up to meet it it's there listen scoring early doesn't guarantee you anything but the first goal was always important and that's a terrific opening Lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Quite dramatic opening, an early tale of the unexpected. Kroondeli. Kroondeli. Shoots! Clearance and very necessary. It's been taken short. There are a few waiting for it. Away from immediate danger. Now it's Bentner. He's had a go! Same again, same outcome. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can't convert a string of very decent opportunities. Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. They scored inside the first ten minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Tries to 
swing it in. From Delhi. Ericsson. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. And play for a goal kick. It's Pentner. Kroondelli. Who's going to make this theirs? Can he score? This could fall anywhere. In for the follow-up. No mistake. And with that goal comes comfort. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. I think when you can see the goal like that, the manager has to start questioning his personnel because to allow someone into that position, totally unmarked, I think that's reckless in the extreme, I really do. Denmark concede again, they have been rocked to the core. Ericsson. Pumps it upfield. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Cuts it back, hits one! Not this time. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. From Delhi. Bedner Promising move that Good inroads into enemy territory But no joy Still going Where to next? They are running riot! And already they're looking to run away with it. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Look, I don't want to take anything away from the finish because he ghosted his way into position. But where was the communication in that defence? Who was taking charge? Nobody. Without reply, this is becoming a stroll. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Oh, chance here! No mistake! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious.
Denmark looked all at sea and terribly vulnerable, but they've got away with it. And it's long and forward. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Danger averted for now. Bentner did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. It's a good run down the right, where could this lead? So what now? How about it? Goes loose, who's getting there? That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. No, that's just why. He did so well to exploit the space down the middle there. That gave him a clean run through on the opposition goal. It so nearly came off for him. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. Delhi. Boylison. There's the route one option. Out to the left it goes. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. And he can get that clear. Play for a throw. Be a goal kick. Now it's Bentner. Bentner goes long. Chance. Can he finish? And in it goes. That was glorious, pinpoint accuracy. Well, once upon a time I was harsh on goalkeepers, but now I'm more sympathetic because the ball moves all over the place these days and we've just seen it again. Denmark grab a goal and the half-time whistle goes reflections on the first half it's all been very impressive so far I think every department has worked very well and I think what we're about to discover now is whether they can match that work rate and energy again in the second half they've got to try and keep this going it really has been and will supply more here we go again then Boylison it's Ericsson. Ericsson. Boylison. And Bentner! It's gone a long way up and away. He's made sure that that won't get through. Truntelli. Looking to force his way through. No, oh, he's missed it. Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not.
Wilson. Good belly. Bentner. Eight forward. That's good progress he's made on the ball. An absolute thunderbolt! He's got himself a pitch of a goal! Over the hills and far away! No catching them now! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. What a good way to assert your authority for this second period. They were prepared to commit numbers forward into attacking positions and the risk has been deservedly rewarded. A real chance to break. Denmark emerge on skate. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. the back foot it's a forceful run down the right but he's short of options now really didn't have enough to concern the defense Denmark have a sub ready to come on on the left-hand side now to profit from it Ericsson. Some good work on the right flank now what's next into the middle and back out it comes it's a loose ball it's a forceful run down the right but he's short of options now and that's left him on the seat of his pants thrust towards the front line and the ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance Schoener Ericsson, just a quarter of an hour to play. Schoener with the ball through. Denmark going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. And it's Ericsson. Ericsson. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with and to find it I think it was a fine drive and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance Check 
Hawks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Denmark playing for pride here. The match surely be on them. Oh, too much weight on that. This is covered quite a distance. Can he find a finish now? That really should have hit the net. wide to the right it's a forceful run down the right but he's short of options now up for the header what about it an absolute gem of a cross it made the header simple well as contact goes that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net I think when it comes to the aerial department this fella is definitely no slouch Four in the game, he is the man. Schoener tries a long pass towards the front and he's shown him a clean pair of heels well positioned to make that interception it's a long forward pass the other side really getting hold of the ball passes it through it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing there goes the final whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Look, we saw some textbook football from white areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the white areas. Another point I can make is that the foundations for this win were placed near both touchlines because they were able to build attack after attack with little resistance. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.